Hi boys and girls, how are you? My name is Teacher Michelle. This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, this is virtual Sunday school and this is Umoja KG where we love God, we love God's people and we do the work of redemption. Welcome. Now, I hope you have woken up and those who are still on the bed, eh, somehow sleeping, I want you to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up and we want to praise God. Are you ready? We want to praise God together. Amen? Amen. Now we will start and we will sing together as children of God. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. danced and you didn't even do anything to the radio or to the TV, you know, as you were dancing and singing and you enjoyed praising God. Amen. And before we go on to our lesson this day, let us pray. Our prayer position, prayer position, prayer position. Nobody's talking, nobody's running, running in the house. Eh? We are praying. Eh? Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the morning the Lord you have given us to learn more of your word to hear what you have to tell us today. Open our hearts that we may hear your word and the Lord King of all glory, Father, to understand your word and help us even to love you more and King of all glory, Father, even to walk in your ways. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Now, today we will be learning and we'll be talking as well. Mm? Are we ready? Now, before we go on, I want, to, I want to ask you a question. Who is a friend? Hmm? 
who is a friend or some of you don't have friends me i have friends and i know you have friends eh and you know why i'm asking that question you know a friend is somebody maybe some will say eh, we share things or we talk too much or you know there are many things you get to do with a friend isn't it and one of the things about a friend is that you enjoy spending time with your with your friend isn't it and it's very you know at this time whereby we have this covid 19 this sickness that is all over the world there are friends that we don't even get to see you know there are those friends eh? you used to be with at school and even at church and you know many of you can't come to church because you're not 13 years so you can't even be able to see those friends hmm? and i want you to think about those friends think about those friends can you have the names of those friends eh? i want you to to write the names and as you are writing those names the friend that you saw them long time when you when you just stopped going to school you have never seen them again and when you stopped coming to church you have never seen them again i want you to close your eyes yes you 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 close your eyes they are at home and i know you, you guys are not shy you can pray isn't it you guys you pray eh? i want you to pray for that friend you know it can be joanne it can be mary it can be joseph there are so many friends we have eh? those friends that you have not seen i want you to close your eyes and to pray for your friend wherever they are and i want you to pray the lord will bless them will protect them will keep them you see somebody is praying for you i want you to pray for that friend so i'm i'm also praying inside me and i want you to pray you will take one minute and pray for your friend isn't it okay let's pray and i want to see you praying are you praying for that friend that you have never seen for that long time i want you to pray for that friend okay Mm -hmm. I want to hear you as you are praying. Hmm? Father, I thank you for the friend, for the friend you have given us. Wherever they are, God, we cannot meet right now. The Lord God, I pray, the Lord, you will keep them safe. You will watch over them. You will be with them. And Lord, you will protect them. Father, bless them, Lord, that they may not catch the disease. The Lord, they may be provided everything they will need. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I hope you have prayed for your friend. Eh? You know, it's so good to pray for your friend. It shows that you love your friend and you care for your, for your friend. Now, back to our lesson. Now, in our today's lesson, I have a very interesting story. But before we go on to this interesting story, we will do a very brief game. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. I'll ask the question, okay, and you will, you will shout, you know, because I know you know this game. Bible, Bible, Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Joseph. John. Mary. Eh? There's somebody there who have said Bible. Mary is Mary in the Bible. Hmm. Okay, let me continue. Bible, Bible, Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Jude. Kai, you have said Jude is not Bible and Jude is in the Bible. Okay. James. Philemon. Eh? You think Philemon is not in the Bible? Philemon is in the Bible. Now, our story today comes from the book of Philemon. At who? Philemon. And you know, for you to be able to easily remember, you will remember lemon. You know, lemon is somehow bitter, eh? But me, I love lemon. Mm -hmm. And for you to remember Philemon, because you know at the end it's like lemon. Now, I've said our story comes from which book? Philemon. Now, our story goes like this. And I want you to keenly listen to my story. Because at the end of the lesson, I will want you to do something for me. Which is very, very important. If you will not listen keenly you will not be able to understand my lesson. I hope you have gotten your notebook and your pen and your writing. Amen. And you have confirmed from the Bible that Philemon is in the Bible. Mm. Okay. Now, you see, long time ago, atinini, long time ago, kitambo, 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 people used to buy people and they will call them slaves. 
You see the way nowadays you can go to the shop and you buy phone, you buy shoes, you buy bags. People will go to the shop and buy people and they become slaves. Another name we can use for slave is a servant. And when this person buys this person, he will call that person a, a master, of which today we can call a boss. Now it is like a boss and a servant. A boss and a servant. Now there was this man who was called Philemon. He was very wealthy, very wealthy. And he, he bought a slave named Onesmus. He bought a slave named who? Onesmus. And so Onesmus was a very good servant slave eh, of Philemon. He will do his work very well, you know. And one day, Philemon and Onesmus, Onesmus did something wrong to Philemon. Philemon disagreed with, One, uh, Onesmus disagreed, sorry, with Philemon, and Philemon ran away. Eh? Run, 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 run. You know, I don't know, some of you, I know, I know you don't love running. Mungeshikwa, ata simbali. Now, Philemon, akashanga. Eh? Onesmus in the way. Onesmus alikimbia, Onesmus alikimbia. Because he had done wrong to Philemon. Now, he went to a place called Rome. At a place called Rome. Now, in that place called Rome, as Onesmus was there, he met the teachings of Jesus Christ. And he heard that the way Jesus saves, you know, people and he forgives our sin. If you allow him to come into your life, you make him your Lord and Savior. And Onesmus was very happy. And you see, one of those people who led Onesmus to Christ was called Paul. Now, Onesmus became a Christian. Now, as Onesmus became a Christian, Paul could help him no more about the things of God. They will read the word. Hey, they read the word and he will grow. You know the way you, you, you sing this song, you know? If you want to grow, read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow, how will you grow? If you read your Bible and you pray every day. Now, Onesmus kept on growing in the things of God because he was reading the word of God. And the one person who used to help Onesmus was a man called Paul. Now, Paul, later on, you know, as time went by, he went to prison. He went to prison. As he went to prison, prison you know he didn't go because he did something wrong he went to prison because of teaching the teaching the the teachings of christ not because he had done anything wrong you know some of us some people today go to prison prison you go when you do something wrong and paul didn't do anything wrong to go to prison just because of teaching the word of god he was taken to prison and so onesmus kept on, you know, helping Paul at prison, making sure that Paul is comfortable, buying him food, as you, as some of you are very, many of you, I know, not some, I know many of you are very useful now at home, you're helping your mom at work, uh, to do house chores, you are helping your brother, you are helping your siblings, isn't it? Hmm. I will confirm with mom, eh? And Onesmus made sure that Paul was comfortable and Paul was well. But, you know, when you do something wrong, as a child of God, you will not feel right in your heart. You will not feel right. And so, Onesmus, have, having become a Christian, knew that he had to go and ask for forgiveness to his boss, eh, the master, Philemon. Yeah? You know, it is good when you do something wrong, you ask for forgiveness, and it will be very well with you. Onesmus, uh, knew that he had to ask for forgiveness. Now, the good thing is, Paul knew Philemon. And so, he had to write a letter to Philemon so that when Onesmus go there, he won't do anything wrong to him. He will just receive him, welcome him back as a friend, as a brother in Christ. You know, he will welcome him. And now, Paul took a pen and a letter and he started writing he wrote he wrote he wrote he told philemon good things he told him how he was happy with philemon but he wanted philemon to do a favor for paul and so to receive him back 
uh, the way he will receive Paul back. Because Paul was saying that he will get out of prison. And as he will come out of prison, he will come and visit Philemon. Now, our lesson today is I know some of us, when you do wrong, we run and we don't want to, to confront our parents the way Onesimus ran. Eh? But today God is waiting for you. You know what Jesus did for us? John 3.16, let me hear you. Uh -huh. Gave us so that whoever believes in uh, should not perish but have everlasting life. Correct. Now, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, Jesus comes into your heart and he becomes your friend. Now, I know you love God very much. You know when Jesus comes into your heart and he becomes your friend, you enter in this big family of God. Now you are able, the way you call your brother and sister at home, now you are able to call those in the church your brother, your sister. Because now you belong to this big family of God. And so, this thing, it was, was very burning in Onesimus' heart. He was so happy because now he belonged to the family of Christ. Now today, some of you have been running away. I want you to come back. Ask Jesus for forgiveness of your sin because Jesus is waiting for you. He wants you to just be his friend and he will be your friend. And for you to become a friend of Jesus, you have to make this prayer after me. Are you ready? You become born again. You become saved. You know, as a child of God, you can still be born again and fire for God and you serve God. Are you ready? Now repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I worship you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now you will not be stealing sugar. You will not be entering in the back of your mom to take money. The way some have been taking money from the bag of the mommy. You won't be telling lies. You will be obeying God. Because now Jesus has come into your heart. And you are now a new creature. The way Onesimus became a new creature. Amen. Now if you have made that prayer. I want to congratulate you. Yay. And welcome into this family of God and give us, write a text, say that you have been born again, you are saved, and we will pray for you and we will pray with you. Amen? Amen. Now, I want you to do a favor for me. Are you ready? Now, you know, there are those friends I've come to know because of my friend. Now, I want you to introduce Jesus to your other friend. You introduce your friend Jesus to another friend, evil, evil, evil. You introduce Jesus to your friend who doesn't know Jesus so that Jesus a kwe friend yake pia yeye. Sindio, a kwe friend yake pia. And the way I say that at the end of the lesson, you will be doing something for me. Huh? There's a puzzle. There's a word puzzle. Today, we will be doing a word puzzle. Now, the puzzle on your screen, you will be, you will be scrubbing the names. It can be from downward to up or cross. You will scrub the names, the, the words that I've, I've used on the lesson. They are there on the word scrabble. You will, be, you will scrub the names. I want to see which names you are coming with. I, I know you guys are very creative. Hey, you are very creative. Hey, you are very creative. I want to see those names. Yes, I want to see those names. And I'll be very happy to just, you know, tick, tick, tick. Because you know I have the marking scheme. To tick, 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 tick for you. Now, I hope you have learned something from our virtual school, uh, virtual Sunday school. And I hope that if you are blessed, you will clap for Jesus. Yay! Now, like Onesimus, I hope that your life has changed for those who are not born again. And now you are born again. You are children of God. Children of God, will you shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Now let us pray. Let us end with the word of the grace. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I hope you are keeping safe. We love you. We are praying for you. Bye.